Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm definitely just having one of those days. I normally would go ahead and try and change my outfit and look a little bit different when I film more than one video in one day. But today I'm just gonna stay with the same outfit and keep it real with you guys. I just sat down and filmed two videos. It took me roughly about two hours and I went to go into editing and I deleted everything by accident, including like all of my demos, all of my zoom up shots. And yeah, it's just a little bit heartbreaking to say the least. The other video that I filmed was a haul. I'm not sure if that one's gonna go up first or today's video, which is monthly favorites. You guys know that monthly favorites are my absolute favorite to film because they're so laid back and casual and I feel like I'm talking to my girlfriends here in my room. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff to show you guys today, so we're just going to jump into it. So the first product that I wanna show you guys, check this out, you guys. I'm not ever the type to spend $28 on a tiny little, what are you, 8.5 ounce shampoo. But I saw a video that the Glam Twins here on YouTube came out with and they have the most beautiful, gorgeous, voluptuous, shiny, like Kardashian hair that I've ever seen. And I have had the pleasure to meet them a couple of times in person and I'm telling you that their hair is just always on point. So those girls are like the hair gods to me and anything that they say, it's like, yes. Yes, I sit there and I just shake my head. I just want my hair to look like theirs all the time. So basically, they did a big Ulta haul, I believe it was, and they showed a bunch of shampoos and conditioners and hair products that they got. And I forgot which one of them said it, but one of them goes, you know what? If it's going in my hair, it has to be good. I don't like using anything that's bad for your hair. And for the longest time, I've used like VO5 and like cheap type of shampoos, and I feel like Something just clicked in that moment where I'm like, you know what, it's true. Why am I using products that are filled with chemicals and like bad stuff for my hair? If I'm gonna use shampoo and conditioner anyway, I should use products that are actually good for my hair and things that aren't just gonna strip them of their natural oils, strip the hairs of their natural oils and kind of damage my hair even more. So that very same day I went to Ulta and I picked up this shampoo by Pureology. It's called their Pure Volume Extra Care Shampoo for extra sensitive, fine color treated hair. So I've only used it about three times since I bought it, but I have already noticed a huge difference in my hair. It's just not as frizzy. It's a lot easier to manage. I feel like it looks a lot shinier. And yeah, it was $28, but I definitely do feel like it was worth it. I'm like, you know what? I should not be using 99 cents shampoo in my hair. Definitely, like they made a lot of sense in that video. So I picked up that. And then along the same lines, when it comes to a moisturizer, I was using a moisturizer that did have a lot of chemicals in it. It's actually the one by acne.org. And even though it's supposed to be good for your hair, for not your hair, now we're talking about skin, it's supposed to be good for your skin, but it's filled with parabens and um, things that are supposed to, what is it called, make them last longer. Preservatives, it has a lot of preservatives in it. So I was like, you know what? I should probably be putting something a little bit more natural on my face since I use it every single day. So I did pick up the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And this says that it's supposed to hydrate dry, parched skin, relieve minor irritation due to eczema and other conditions for the face and elsewhere. Safe for sensitive skin, no parabens, harsh chemicals, or coloring. So I was like, you know what? I definitely wanna give this a try. I also see that it has oatmeal in it. And since I stopped Accutane, my skin is very irritated, it's dry, it's itchy, it's red. And I, I really like that this is a moisturizer, but it's supposed to help repair your skin as well. So I picked this up just a couple of days ago, but I have already been loving it. Oh, forgot to show you guys another shampoo that I did get. This one was from Target. This one was a lot more affordable. And this is from Ren Pure Originals Biotin and Collagen Thickening Shampoo. And this says zero sodium chloride, sulfates, dyes, harsh salts, parabens, gluten. So I definitely feel like I'm gonna look for that more so in my shampoo and conditioner than when I used to. But with that being said, the next product, where is it? I know I know. I took this out the shower. All right, I'm bugging. I'm bugging because I didn't take it out of the shower. This is a conditioning mask that I picked up from CVS. It's by Neutrogena. It's called the Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. And I really like this stuff. I have only been washing my hair once a week since starting Accutane. I really had to be one of those girls that had to wash my hair almost every single day. So I'm hoping that once I'm off Accutane 100% that my, my scalp doesn't get as oily as it used to because I love just having to wash my hair once a, once a month, no, once a week. Um, but I really love using a mask. I don't use conditioners at all. I just use deep treatments, um, conditioning mask. And my favorite one is the Dominican one. It's called Silicon Mix, but it does have a lot of silicone in it. And where that does make your hair look really nice and beautiful and shiny in the beginning, if you use it too much, it starts to build up on your hair and kind of weigh it down. 
So this one right here doesn't have a lot of silicone in it and lately my hair has been a lot more shiny and softer and manageable since using this in combination with the Purology shampoo. Since we're talking about shower things, the next thing that I want to talk about straight out of my shower is from Soap and Glory and they were so sweet. They sent me and Mike a beautiful package um, when we first announced that we got engaged and they included some really expensive wine in there so I definitely want to take a moment to thank everyone at Soap and Glory for that because that, that really touched us. It was very sweet of the company. So one of my favorite products from the little care package that they sent us was the Sugar Crush Body Wash. And this smells so delicious, you guys. It smells kind of like a lemon cookie and it does have a little bit of a gritty texture to it so I feel like it really does get rid of any extra dead skin cells and makes my skin feel really really clean and I smell delicious the scent definitely does linger on your skin which I love I go through body washes like crazy this one right here will probably last me maybe about two weeks I want to say Mike actually uses my body wash and I guess he just like smelling like a girl because he goes through my body wash and I buy him man body wash or men's body wash and I'm like here babe use this because my stuff is expensive yeah it is what it is so that is definitely a favorite for this month and then I have two little pieces of makeup that I want to share with you guys or two cosmetics so the first one is the voluminous Miss Manga Rock you guys know that I did a full video on this but since I got my eyelashes permed I have been able to switch to the non waterproof formula and oh my god you guys it is so great to just wash my face and not have to go in with the coconut oil and you know have an extra step to remove the waterproof mascara a lot of you guys know that I could only use waterproof mascara because it has a lot of wax in it it helped my curl my lashes would my lashes would literally like just wimp down if I did not have a waterproof formula but since I did perm my lashes and yes I have a video on that link down below I feel like the um, regular version is just as good and I really really love it a lot this mascara it's like a very intense um, dramatic mascara so I really like it very much up my alley next I have this eyebrow powder from Tarte it's called their Amazonian clay volumizing brow powder in the shade black brown it's not a black it's just a very very dark 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 tone brown and I love this stuff because when I picked it up at first at Ulta I was asking the lady how can a how can a powder be volumizing but she said something about the clay particles and it's supposed to look very natural and real like it's your actual hair um, I love this stuff I love the color I feel like it goes very well with my hair because it's dark and it's intense but it's not a straight-up black it's also waterproof it lasts all day long on me I just feel like this product stepped up my brow game so I have been using this brow powder ever since I got it I love it no need for Anastasia this this is the shit. The next I want to talk to you guys about an app that I have been loving and it's called Snups. You might have heard about it because a lot of YouTubers do use it and it's basically just a way for me to be able to keep track of my items. I do have a pretty large makeup collection and a lot of times I'll forget what I have. So right now I have two different shelves and I have a Sephora wish list where I have everything that I want and then I have a most used makeup brush shelf and this is the one that I love the most because sometimes when I go to the store I will pick up a brush that is almost identical to what I already have so I kind of broke it down into categories I have my larger brushes my flat top brushes my eye brushes and then my round edge brushes and I feel like I can just pop out my phone at any time when I'm shopping kind of scroll through my shelves and make sure that I'm not buying a product that's pretty much identical to what I already have I really do love this app and I feel like I've been getting a lot of use out of it speaking of apps I really did quickly want to mention the Ebates app that I have been using a lot lately I actually have a big haul from Old Navy that I did entirely through Ebates I saved a big chunk of money on it but I didn't get the package in time I still wanted to share this video with you guys and mention Ebates because they have a huge Columbus Day sale going on right now basically if you're an online shopper you need to be put onto Ebates on average you'll save anywhere from 2 to 10 percent on your purchase but there are some crazy deals where you get like 25 percent back which is insane anytime that I shop online at Sephora and Ulta I always do it through Ebates the con is that you have to wait for your product to come in but the pro is that I never ever ever pay full price when I'm ordering online so I very quickly wanted to mention Ebates and then there's one more product that I wanted to share with you guys today and this is a really really special item and totally different from anything that I've ever shared with you guys on my channel and this is actually called the LG mini beam nano and it's actually a projector so the LG mini beam nano is LG's smallest and lightest projector to date 
It has a USB and HDMI port, so you can stream from a jump drive, from your smartphone, or my personal fave, which is my laptop. I love using my projector to watch Netflix movies off of, and even though the little projector is tiny, the picture can take up the entire wall. So the closer that you have the projector towards your wall, the smaller that the picture is gonna be, and the further that you have it, the bigger the picture. You can actually project onto any flat surface, so what we like to do is we actually bring it outside, we use the side of our house as a huge TV screen, and I'm telling you guys that this thing gets huge. Really, really big, like you're watching a movie in a theater. I actually wanna come out with a dedicated review showing you guys this in action. I will see if on my next movie night, I can take my big camera out and kind of film and show you guys how we set this up and how we watch movies at night outside on our house. It's the coolest thing ever. So that will be definitely coming up in a dedicated video. And that is everything, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.